healthcare in 100 years is actually so much easier to imagine than healthcare today or even in five years. And so when we talk today about life extension, we all aim so low. We say, what, what would it take for us to live three years longer and five years longer and cure cancer? What gets us to a point where we can live a thousand years, 10,000 years, or literally forever if that's what we so decide? I'm excited for a world where you are not constrained by your body. Our goal here at Forward is to try to build the world's best healthcare for billions of people for free. You can just hear that and get a sense of why this might be inspiring to me and something that I think is really worth going for. And in part, it's an evolution over the sort of course of my life. I've just spent so much time asking, like, what's even worth working on? And so when Adrian and I met uh, back at Google, we were working on special projects for Larry Page, um, who was the CEO at the time. And basically, Adrian came to one day. He's like, hey, man, between you and me and Larry, we're not going to run out of ideas. Like, there's tons of stuff we could work on in the world. What's worth working on? And so I said to him, I was like, well, I think only three things really matter. I want to work on things that are massive. So I don't want to just serve you and me in San Francisco. I want to be able to serve people all around the world, most of whom are actually far less fortunate than we are. The second point is like, look, if this thing's massive and you could imagine serving billions of people, ask, are you solving a problem that's really worth going after? And this idea that like we could use technology to rebuild healthcare to make this 10 times better than it is today is incredibly inspiring to think about what that would mean for people who um, not only who I get sort of poor healthcare for the money that we spend here in the United States, but frankly, there's billions of people around the world who have nothing. And if we can have some sort of small role in helping change that, um, that would be my life's work. Kaiser has less than 3% of the United States population. Why is it that Kaiser can't get to 100 million or a billion for all 9 billion on the planet? And one of the reasons you realize very quickly is that healthcare today is a labor-based business. It's doctors and nurses. And so we asked ourselves, well, could we instead create a healthcare system that relies more on hardware and software and only uses doctors and nurses where you truly need them, which is pretty rare, as opposed to using them for every single rote, routine, laborious thing at the end of the day. The more you can shift healthcare from a service to a product, the more you can scale healthcare to the whole planet, truly democratize healthcare on this planet. What would healthcare have to look like if healthcare was on every street corner and as accessible as something like the internet or water? And you start to imagine that healthcare starts to look really different. It's not a doctor's office with a bunch of people. It starts to be almost like like ATMs all around. Uh, so this is the Forward Care Pod. Um, we're in Forward's headquarters uh, and warehouse actually down in South San Francisco. These are a bunch of the photos of this care pod in the wild. We've got them in malls and office spaces. We're rolling out more every single day. Um, but the really cool part is just to check out and see how this thing works. Hello. Welcome to your local care pod. Tap to begin. Welcome to your visit. Your care pod today will provide you access to the health apps you need to take control of your health. CarePod has a ton of sensors and a ton of technology inside it. Uh, this is like a sensor-enabled entertained environment where the moment you walk in, you're uh, going to be surrounded by technology uh, around you. Well, healthcare just has all these technologies from a blood test to an EKG to a skin scan to an eye scan, all these technologies. And if I have to think about each one of those separately, I'm never going to be able to scale healthcare. So what we did is we actually created what almost looks like a vending machine. It looks like a Coca-Cola machine. And you put in different trays. Here's a tray with a blood test. Here's a tray with a COVID test, etc. The idea is that it can go grab whatever technology, whatever service you need and give it to you trivial. And we put that together into this package called a care pod. Basically just a, a pod, an AI doctor's office, right? There's all sorts of pieces that go into it. You can see some of those here from sensor stacks that measure the human body to these trays. So this, for example, is a test rig where uh, you can see one of our engineers here is just focusing on making sure each and every part of this at the end of the day kind of works from, from the sound systems to the trays to the sensors to the diagnostics to the blood processing. You name it, can it all come together in kind of one package. To get started, tap to open an app or swipe to explore. Beginning your body scan app. This is uh, the system uh, that we uh, use for generating a 3D uh, body model. 
and uh, also uh, the measuring body measurements like uh, what is your uh, waist to hip ratio what you know what is your neck circumference or what is your arm circumference and this is like super useful for things like weight uh, management or diabetes management so over time when you track this data it will not only tell you how you are progressing but it will also give you insights into what you could be doing in order to uh, stay on track So if you look at the technology behind the scenes, so uh, we use so uh, CD so far depth cameras that are uh, essentially using structured light to plot uh, millions of data points uh, as uh, a person is uh, standing in front of the cameras and then we use uh, a ton of uh, algorithms uh, behind the scenes so uh, AI comes into the picture in order to generate this precise body models uh, 3D body models that get generated and then we run algorithms on top of that to measure uh, different types of body measurements and then feed it into our medical algorithms to see how they integrate uh, with the plans and personalized plans uh, that we have for our members you can do everything from getting a body scan to your blood test to your genetics to your urine all these sorts of things kind of being tested and the idea of it is that we we get a complete profile a really deep understanding of what's going on with you we use that to kind of identify what are the risks what are the things that might be going on right now or might be or might happen in the future whether that's your cancers or just your flu building kind of apps and basically health programs that help you kind of go after treating every single one of these issues in the most efficient way way possible whether that's coming into a care pod getting your treatments or doing it at home using sensors or other kind of technologies you might have so first of all we've been running doctors offices across the country for many years at this point so we've just learned so much by virtue of like watching what do people do and then we basically just started taking one piece at a time and saying could we take that thing that's being done by a doctor today and do it using hardware or software So we have tons of lessons that we learned from the course of running the um current version over the old version of four these clinics and we said all right it's now time to rebuild or repackage that into a much more automated scalable product that we call a carepod. We're constantly trying new things. We're asking ourselves can these new sensors truly kind of understand what's going on with this body? Can we make the package smaller and smaller? So this was an early version You can see there's about 60% the size of that one. And that's the idea. It's like how much can we kind of reduce the size, how inexpensive and how accessible can we make healthcare for everybody around the planet? Um in terms of design philosophy, a lot of it is focused around a couple of things. One, we want to make sure that it's capable of producing a great user experience, having really seamless smooth experiences, having all sorts of sensors at your fingertips, the ability to capture all of this data in a way that's self-serve and convenient and wherever you are in your life is really important. Obviously, we wanted it to be sort of calm and soothing and that's part of why it's dark. It also helps you focus and make sure that you're like un, you know, immersed in the experience that we're taking you through. It's obviously like pretty few futuristic uh we see this as something that is really helping usher us into the future of healthcare and you want the product design to reflect that by democratizing healthcare you can bring down costs pretty significantly and that is also the solution to solving your outcomes problem we're bringing technology into the picture you can drastically reduce uh, the error rates in healthcare you can drastically improve the outcomes in healthcare and that's super exciting i think standing here uh it feels like the culmination of a lot of work <laughs> when we started forward when we were building those clinics um we literally rented a warehouse very close to here actually and just literally put tape on the floor and said this is a doctor's office and it's like well that's not true but it was the start of what became forward and so to be back in a warehouse uh, building these care pods with all these different versions um you know after seeing so much progress and learning so much uh, it really does feel like the culmination of a bunch of great work by uh, so many amazing people over the history of forward So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to keep adding more and more capabilities. One day, hopefully 25 years from now, I come to you and I'm like, "We can do open heart surgery in this thing." But you kind of see where we go. We'll just keep adding more and more until it does every part of healthcare. Obviously, we're going to create more apps on top, cover more conditions, more scenarios, right? Right now, we've got all sorts of apps from your diabetes and your chronic care to your acute care to your longevity apps, but we're at the very beginning of what we can do. And then of course we want more and more care pods. We want them on every street corner of every country on this planet accessible to everyone who needs access to healthcare.